Yeah, yeah boy, can sniff out a Christmas tree cake. Uh, Christmas okay, tree cake. so I did bring Christmas tree cakes for all of us. For all mm. of us. And by a all box of peace? I mean, <laughs> a box of peace. 35 Christmas tree cakes. Divided 30? by four. Not eight, eight and a three quarters. Eight I ain't split mine with nobody. Somebody I know. Gonna, you somebody, can have nine. Somebody going to get shorted on Ain't this no. day. Let's Ain't have no. a Christmas tree eating contest. A that, Christmas tree oh, eating man. contest or a Christmas tree cake eating contest? Cake. No, yeah, you don't want all the Christmas tree cakes. I would everyone. win. I'm actually no, gonna, no, no. I don't I, even know if I'd eat one of them things. You, you wait. What? I, I wouldn't eat it. You have you never had one? No. Open it. Live I want to see. I want to hey, see size hey, reaction. Ladies Give me and one gentlemen, one live one. Oh, this from the duck call room. No, this is Cy Robertson. Is this what y'all were talking about? Yeah, and it's a, oh, what you're about to be talking oh, about. Good For the rest yeah. of your yeah. life. You've never uh, before you take a bite. Yeah. Drum more, don't yeah. take a bite. Yeah. You've never had one of these. No. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Your life just Look changed. <laughs> He's no, he's going back on it. Don't, don't let him fool you. Watch him. That back there, but <laughs> he's that gonna that go back for later. That's gonna go in his pocket, son. Yeah, he put we'll it back put, in the wrapper. We'll put that back for later, boy. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Just for a little snack. That is the best little Debbie made. I, I I just I believe it. They have the wrong mascot, by the way. It's little Debbie doesn't eat near as many of these as I do. Yeah. Well. <laughs> so I what mean. are you trying, trying to say there, JD? My mouth full. Well, I mean, look at the difference between him and hey, Little Debbie. Hey, box over here. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to bring it over. <laughs> Godwin, Godwin, man, he done got weeded out. That, no, this is called Punish Godwin. Nah. Okay. Yep. Godwin, we like to call this uh, positivity oh, training. Whoa. Whoa. Boy, that's some high Whoa. Point. That's some high polluting stuff in there. That's high octane coffee. It, it jumped out everywhere. Okay. So. Welcome to the Christmas episode of the Duck Call Room. We're currently eating breakfast of Christmas tree cakes, drinking coffee, and this episode comes out on Christmas Eve, so we hope you're having a wonderful time with family, also eating snacks and goodies. That's right. And if you... Also, Christmas trees. If you didn't get Christmas tree cakes in your stocking yet, I, I hope that you do. That you way you get, get them the, from us. No, they're going to be gone. We're going to eat all of them. They'd be out of it. Look at the size. I said, no, it ain't no good. Look who, <laughs> look who went back in on it, son. Look who went back <laughs> in. Went back <laughs> in. <laughs> look, dang. He's back on it. I'm telling you, that thing, man, is good. That's the one that they have, like, the right ratio of frosting, cake, everything. Oh, it's, it's good. We're going to decorate this whole room with Christmas tree cake. Uh, <laughs> man, that is so good. Uh that's ridiculous. I'll get one here in a minute. I'm going to save mine. Anyway. But it is the Christmas episode, and, uh, man, it's hard to believe we're already at Christmas. Like, 2020 has been a goofy year. Like, from March to August, it was, like, stalled out. No, like, it's been a bad year. year. And then when September come here, it said, I'm gone, boys. Sure and it is. just hit the accelerator and said, we getting out of here. Hey, 2020 was a bad year because, look, I'm only 14. Look what it did to me. <laughs> 14 years old? Yeah, 14 years old. And look look what I look like. <laughs> for crying out loud. So, hey, don't they bring up 2020 to me. Si, you're going to now forever remember 2020 as the year you had your first Christmas tree cake. Right. So we're ending it on a positive note. Positivity here, from here on out. Yeah, guaranteed. It's one of them high five deals, boys. It is crazy to think. I mean, it, it went from slow stop to fast forward. <laughs> but that's generally what happens for us because it's duck season. Like, once September gets here, we're hunting. And then next thing you know, you look up and, you know, it's February. You're like, huh, where did those last three months go, you know? Every time it happens, you know, so I, they say, what? It's time for duck season again. I said, we just got done with it. You got something in your beard there, sir. So I, I got a Christmas tree Christmas in my beard. Christmas tree cake. You gonna Christmas say, tree. I'll be home for Christmas. Oh, mm. Christmas songs with Sa. Si. <laughs> I like it. Sa, si, what's your favorite Christmas song? I like them all. All of them. All, all of them, boys. You I, don't have, like, one favorite, no, though? No. I love Christmas music. That's right. I'm, I'm indifferent. You can hear You're indifferent Christ to Christmas songs? 
I like new Christmas songs. I don't like the old ones. Does that does that make me a terrible person? No. Okay. Yeah. Jingle bell. What do like the old around. ones? And like the funny ones, like Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's one of my. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. yeah. See, that's the kind of you ain't believe, but for me and Grandpa, we believe. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and in a certain case, when you are grandpa, you get to double believe. Yeah, right? that's right, boy. Thank you. you what do you watch, mean? You got to watch him right here, boys. <laughs> I, I like the Black Panther. They're real. <laughs> do well, they fly? Nobody ever disputed <laughs> that, that reindeer aren't real. <laughs> hey, oh, we got some non-believers out there that don't think they're real. They don't even believe in Santa Claus. They don't even believe in the whole, whole fat man. Well, that's ridiculous. I know. Yeah, who doesn't believe in Santa Claus? Thank you. He's clearly made these cakes Scrooge. with love. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's yeah. what yeah. happens. Christmas tree cakes. Well, come I'm going to take a break for another little bit. Pictures, <laughs> pictures <laughs> on. I apologize no. to everyone for this episode. Si won't be on it. He will be eating Christmas tree cakes for the yeah. duration of the hour. We may have to go yeah. find Si some insulin for the end of this thing. <laughs> yeah. Good night of living. Yeah. No, but what do you mean by you don't like the old ones? I don't. Like, I like I like the new versions of old. I mean, so you like Luke Bryan's Run Run Rudolph more than Chuck Berry's? Yeah, I said I, it. I said I it. do like his. Oh. You know why? Look, let me tell you why I like Luke, Luke Bryan's Run Run Rudolph. Because I mean, Luke Bryan has one heck of a duck hole that I get to hunt. So oh, go okay. Luke Bryan. Yeah, it makes sense. That yeah. story checks out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that story checks out. Because the old I one's way better. To say, I was I was getting in it, but when he brought in, he got a good duck hole. Yeah, I thought he checks out. Baby. Yeah, hey, amen. But so, I, so John David though, John David's kind of guy that prefers Wham's Last Christmas that over is a, Taylor Swift. That is Last a great Christmas. song. My four year old knows all the words to Wham Last Christmas to a T. Wham. Who's the other it. guy with George Michael? I looked it up the other day and I can't remember. That's it's, a bad deal. It's they're British. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. No offense to our British fans. Um, no. Godwin, yeah. do you even know who Wham is? Do you remember Wham? Wham break. No, not why I'm yeah. break. <laughs> we like your, the locals I've here. Heard, I've to, heard of it. Yeah, I'm yeah. right there with you, Gavin. You don't remember? I've heard answer. of them, but I don't remember, you know, because I was, well, I don't remember much about back then. <laughs> you don't remember much, B.C.? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Before Christ. Oh, uh, I was more Pink Floyd and Rush and. Uh oh. Yes. Hey, you you believe, was a Rush fan? Can you believe that's three men making all that racket? Three men making all that racket. Uh, Mr. Well, hey, Mr. Top. Peart is no ZZ longer. ZZ Top's the three men. ZZ Top. And hey, yeah. baby, they've been on the charts for 60 years on yep, the top. Still going. Kiss? Kiss has been on the charts. For well, hey, ZZ Top ever hey, do a Christmas They're not a really a rock. That is a hey, good Kiss question. ain't really a rock band. That's the problem. I don't think we can you play know, Kiss music. is a three ring circus. Okay, with live entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> but George Michael, oh, he can make a it. Christmas song. Gavin, what is your favorite Christmas song? You, do you have one that sticks out? Jingle Bell Rock. Jingle Bell Rock. Okay. The Jingle Rock. Bell, Hall Jingle Oates, Bell. The Hollow Notes version. Who sings that? Elvis. Oh, no, I ain't talking about that, that version. Oh. I, was the, I, I was thinking about the guy that plays the rockabilly version of that. Rockabilly. That, yeah, Rockabilly. That? What, what is, is Rockabilly? They've got, they've got, I can't think of the name of the band. they got a bass fiddle, a guitar man on the guitar, and hey, they're good. They, you know, it's a live jumping show. Really? He's, he's like Tina it's Turner. It's a three ring circus. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no. He's like Tina Turner. This guy hits the stage rocking and, and moving, and he leaves the stage rocking and moving. Is I that, can't believe I can't think of his name. I can't either. Then the band. If you bang on that table louder, you may think of it. Oh, no, no, but hey, they got a good band. The, the Swing Rockin Cats? Huh? Swing Cats. I don't know. That doesn't sound like something. Bobby Helms. Well, it may be. Uh, what would you say? The cat? Something about the cat? Rockabilly and Blues. The Swing Cats. That's who it is. Swing Cats. I think. I don't Ladies know. and gentlemen, I'm not allowed to do <laughs> I'd hate to see them, okay? I just know the guy's good. Google that Brian on your Switzer own accord. Name. That's what the guy's name is, the lead guitar, Brian Switzer. Brian, I'm probably you know. pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> yeah, it may not be Brian yeah. at all. Yeah, well, no, no. <laughs> the Brian, the, uh, the, no, 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 the first name is right. Brian Switzer, but that, that may pro that's probably a wrong pronunciation. He, he wrong did. pronunciation. Say that. Of, of his name, last Say that name. ten times real fast. Yeah. No. Oh, oh I yeah. found it. The Brian hey, Setzer Orchestra, Orchestra Jingle Bell Rock. Yeah. Hey, it's a good one. I've heard the Brian Setzer. It's a, it's a, it's yeah. a, grab you song. Dun, 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 dun. 
Hey, they get out. <laughs> that song just comes out there and grabs you. <laughs> hey, when you got it, you got it. He's got it. He uh, got it, boys. He got it. Does what? anybody remember the I want a hippopotamus for Christmas? I remember it. The, that's, that's, that's like that's the like most chipmunks. Now that yeah, actually, but that it, actually hit a bell in my little mind going, Eek. I think I look, but just a little bit. I want bit a hippopotamus yeah. for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought he was I thought he was saying he had an idea to tell no. a story. <laughs> I remember when I worked. I don't have a big enough cage to hold him in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, yes. that would do it. Yeah, I don't have a cage big enough to hold him in. Yes, okay. Boy, I love it. Heck yeah, well, that must have been a hit. Y'all would remember it. Oh man, it. it's yeah, it's like a. I don't. It sounds like a little kid singing it. I don't remember who sings it, but it's it's, it's good a small stuff. child. My uh my I have a I have a group of jams that nobody knows about. Oh, I'm aware of them. The California hey. Raisins Christmas album from like 1989. I had the tape as a kid. It is the greatest collection of Christmas music ever made. The California kids. The California, the California raisins. raisins. Like the, the people from the commercial. The California Raisins. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me tell the you. Something. Well, they all drive up. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> 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 no, they have just the most fantastic Side Christmas pulling. album ever. Uh, I'm sharp, boys. Hey. Sharp as Don't a cat. Don't mess with them. Sharp as a cat. Flat, oh, but I man. listened to that album on repeat until I was about 10, and then CDs came out. But then I brought it back <laughs> at like 20. What did, what did you bring back? The California Raisins Christmas. Oh, oh good grief. Uh, we need to bring I'm just saying it's not as many people are listening to it anymore and we need to. That's, oh, that's probably man. the reason. Look it up, people. Look it up, boys. He said check the facts. California raisins. That's right. California raisins. And that sounds like a good time for our first birthday. Thank you, buddy. Goblin, what's the one thing what's the one piece of advice you gave me whenever I got married? Do you remember? Do I remember? Yep. <sighs> Just be patient and hang on because it gets way better. And <laughs> never what? Spit in her eye? No. <laughs> but that's a good no, idea, too. No, you never uh, go to bed, man. Stop. Never stop dating. There we go. What do you yeah. do when you're dating? What What's one thing you do when you're dating? You, you get your woman flowers. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so, that's one thing. Look, and is there a woman on this planet that doesn't like flowers? No, but they'll say they will, but don't believe it. It's yeah. a trap. They all love them. So, look, the cool thing is Bloomsy Box sources flowers from family farms. They're cut right there at the farm and shipped to your door, which means you get them like two to three weeks fresher than other places when you get flowers. And like I said, there ain't a woman on this planet that doesn't love flowers. So if you're confused about what to get your woman for Christmas, flowers flowers never can go wrong. That's, right. That's exactly right. So they and they do like cool flowers, not just your standard roses and stuff like that. They they source really cool flowers, which for a nerd like me is pretty cool. So look, the cool thing is there's no hidden fees, there's no endless upsells, and if you get a subscription, it's free shipping. That's all you got to do. But if you go there now, Go to bloomsybox.com, enter the code DUCK, you'll get 15% off, and also you get free shipping if you sign up for a subscription. That's promo code DUCK for 15% off at B-L-O-O-M-S-Y box.com. And speaking of that, hey, I know somebody else that loves flowers. Who? My cat, Sweet Pea. We had to put them up. So should we get sweet peas and flowers for Christmas? No, no, if you do, you need to come watch him with them. (laughs) He's hilarious. Okay, he'll get in and just get his whole head in, just stick him in the fryer and be. I <laughs> said, What was that? Craziest last part? cat. Hey. <laughs> uh, hey, he's, he's a, look, if this cat was what? human, he, he'd have probably 10 doctors, okay, because there's everything wrong with him. Bloomsybox.com. Sweet pea approved. All right, sweet pea approved, boys. I just found out they made a whole movie about the California Raisins Christmas. Huh. Didn't have that on VHS, sorry. Mind blown. Okay. Well, here we are. We are in between duck seasons. Right smack in the middle of the split. Kind of weird. You know, it's... Kind of uh, quiet. It's awful quiet. Everybody's been back at work. I say everybody, the people with the wrong last name have been back at work such as me and goblin um i've been at work well yeah 
You too. JD, you Has, ain't never worked. Oh, Here we go Lord. again. They back on that Jay Stone hey, mantra hey, of it. Hey. Look, here's what I'll say for John David. I don't offend him a whole lot. But as long as our boss ain't griping, he's working. So And not only that, and he's not around. The boss? Yeah. Yeah. If JD's he's, pretty good at keeping him away from everybody. Oh, he's perfect. He's so, like, hey. he's like, I'm going to come he, up there and John no. David say, no, I'll just come to your house. Yeah. Hey, boss, if you're listening, yeah. this is not true. Yeah. No, it's very <laughs> true. Very true. Oh, no, this is true, boss. Very <laughs> true. <laughs> no, this is true. But y'all used to hunt on Christmas Day. Or you probably, do you hunt? We still do hunt. You on yeah. hunt on Christmas Day. I've never hunted on Christmas Day. Oh, look, when I was hunting down there all the time, Christmas Day would be me, Cy, and Phil. Why Phil blasted all of his children for spending Christmas with their children. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't yeah. believing these boys they ain't yeah. coming no. duck hunting no. on Christmas yeah. Day. Right. Oh, yeah, that's I'd, kind of fact religious, boys. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be me, you're Cy, and Phil. Going, you're not going hunting on Christmas Day? Uh, What's wrong with you? It would always be for me, Cy, yeah. si and Phil. Because you have to wake up when it's dark. And when you wake up, you're supposed to. Well, you to, wake you know, up when it's dark to go hunting. The stockings That's were filled with cheer, and there's there's other things to do Christmas morning. No, no, it's duck season. It's we didn't put Christmas in duck season. That's not our fault. I've tried to explain that point to my wife since we've known each other. Hey, we didn't do this. But she's you part knew of it. you knew me when, you when have we a were little dating Martin that I hunted. Around. It'll be well, good. Did you expect me just to quit hunting once we get you know? Sign the, the paperwork. Well, no, it so took you 14 hours to convince her. I remember that story. So. Hey, oh, right. Well, that had nothing to do with hunting. <laughs> <laughs> he had other issues. Yeah. So she had a whole, oh, she's got a bunch of issues. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but on one, the, one of many, okay, and hey, she may have multiple personalities also. Well, that'd match all of yours, probably. Well, hey. So that's yeah, all yeah. good. But hey, it's always fun around my house. Well, look, here's I'll tell you who the slickest ones are is the state of Arkansas. They they looked at the divorce rate around Christmas and said, We just gonna close duck season, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Yeah. Did they <laughs> really? they said it ain't worth Thanksgiving. Good for them. Yeah. That's yeah. smart. I've mm -hmm. always wondered why, and now you've just told me. Yeah. Them boys up there, you know, they like him on Airedale dogs. Uh oh. They ain't as dumb as they look. <laughs> <laughs> okay. hey. I've looked up a Airedale uh, dog. Hey. He don't really look that dumb hey, either. He yeah. said that's that's a, hey, that's a little shout out for Arkansas hunters. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> that's right. You're welcome. And don't hey. take too much offense. He's told me that before. Yeah. Well, they, and I had to look up those dogs, and they're beautiful animals. They really are. They're they're cool looking dogs. But Arkansas is open, so I've been. I know, God, when you went up there, what's your report from I Central went up Arkansas? There, it was. Uh, we seen a lot of ducks, but not. They wasn't coming where we would. We had one big group of mallards come in there, boom, ba ba ba. We got to him, and then the little tail saved the day. Ooh. Bunch of them come in, and we got to him. Them little tasties, as I like oh, to call yeah, them, the, little tasties. Mm, the hors d'oeuvres. Mm -mm. Boy, they good. But I saw your woman killed a big old buck deer, didn't she? She did. Oh my goodness. She got Rudolph's cousin. <laughs> or daddy, or something. Or grandpa, or something. That's a big old buck deer. Now was she well, fired up? Yeah. Was but his nose red? No. Did she well, it, it, it how was, you know he was a cousin then? She wait till he lit. It was red after she shot him. <laughs> yeah. It turned red. Oh, it, it turned, turned red. red. <laughs> okay. right. Right. That deer come from a long way off. We watched him. And uh, Lane, Matt seen him. He's Jeff's little son, but I don't know how old he is, 12, 13. He said, that looks like a buck. He had that slow walk. I put them binoculars up. I went, yeah, that's a big one. Jim said, that's world-class, but Lane said, boys. daddy, I thought mine was. Uh-oh. He said, oh, yeah, yours was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yours was. <laughs> Paula was like, I don't want to shoot him. You shoot him. I said, nah, you can do it. And she got him. She got him. That smile on her face said it all, didn't it? <laughs> what did you get Miss Paula for Christmas, by the way? I got her a Savage 6.5 Creedmoor uh -oh. with Vortex Scope. Uh-oh. Be I sure she doesn't listen to this on Christmas Eve. She's, oh, she's already got it. She's already oh, got it. She's already I gave it. it to her about that, four yeah. days yeah. before That's we went on that hunt. That's what she shot the deer with. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's mm -hmm. why I asked him. I knew what he got. Yeah. I got her some accessories to go with it. Galvin come to me. She don't know. Galvin come to me last week. He said, I got to leave early. I got to run an errand. And I was like, well, that's weird. 
got to run an errand. He don't say that often. And then he showed up the next day with a brand new rifle. I said, oh, that's the errand you had to run. I got you. That's a good errand. No problem. I well, it's hard to find because she's right-handed, but she's left-eyed dominant. So them left-handed guns are hard to get a hold to. Guaranteed, yeah. They're the only ones in their right mind if you ask them. Huh? That's <laughs> what's funny. Yeah. You know. It is. But, hey. Si, what about you? What what you getting Miss Christine for Christmas? I've already got it. What you get? I got her a pullover. It's real soft and real warm. And she cold all the time. So that's oh, yeah. 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 No, that was, it's, it's a good gift. You got any special designs on it? No. Just a picture. Yeah. Just a uh, white pullover? No. Well, it's just a white zip pullover. Zip up? That's real soft. No, I ain't no zip up. This is pullover, period. A With hoodie. a hoodie. A hoodie. No. And no. it's really just, it's like uh, mashed potatoes, that soft. Oh. <laughs> it's like mashed no, no, potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Yeah. Like wearing oh. clouds. Oh, yeah. yeah. To get that fur around the end. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mashed potatoes. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, you ain't never just grabbed a handful of mashed potatoes? I use a fork. Or a no, spoon. No, no, no. Well, see, I just like to grab a handful. He of likes to fork. fondle his food <laughs> before that's he right, eats that's it. Right. Yeah. No, that's when I'm fixed to slap it in somebody's face. <laughs> 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 the old, nobody, the old mashed potato trick in the face. Uh, how, how many times have you hit somebody in the face with mashed oh, quite potatoes? Quite a few times. Yeah, quite oh, a few times. My I'm never gracious. going to eat lunch with somebody. Right. Never go with, come to the house, J.D. Ah. Just be covered I, in food. I would have to pop you good. <laughs> <laughs> Just by the time you f- take it first bite. No, have a have a real bite. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's a real bite at the mashed potatoes. Uh-oh, boys. Uh, Goblin's going back. Oh, down. he's <laughs> going back in, boys. I got to have something. Something to sop his coffee up. Well, he, oh, he's he's oh, going to like, sop his coffee I'm up, I'm interested boys. in that. Oh, well, we're back on, now that we're back <laughs> on that food. Martin, well, hold on. Are you getting Brittany anything for Christmas? No, we're not doing Christmas for each other. But you, right. you take time. You're a time man. Uh-huh. You, I give her three days a year a duck season for Christmas. She gets the 24th, the 25th, and half of the 26th. Only half of it. Well, the other half spent driving back from Nashville, oh, so right. that that's that's part of my gift every year. Oh, is that year where is, she's from? Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Originally. Uh, originally. Now she's a redneck down here. I took right. her from a hillbilly to a redneck. Right. So, hillbilly to. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? Redneck hillbilly. Yeah, guarantee. <laughs> I, I like it. Redneck hillbilly. A red billy or a hill neck, I that's guess. Right. Whatever right. you want to call it. Right. It's, it's whatever all good. Works. But no, we're we're we got some stuff we want to do to the house, so that'll be bigger bathtub. No, not a bigger bathtub. <laughs> bath, bath, the bathroom was last year, oh, so um, yeah, we got some other stuff we're gonna do. So that's the kind of stuff we generally do for Christmas, which is awesome because unlike you, I don't have a birthday, anniversary, and Christmas all in a two week time span. No, no. So that's, out. that's right him. Out. That's, that's deadly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just birthday the seventh, anniversary the eighteenth, then Christmas. Yeah. So wow. I'm thinking about setting up a GoFundMe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you just so my children month. can eat because <laughs> all we have is presents for my wife right now. Ah, right. that's funny. one man, one month man here. Yeah. yeah. Everything goes on yeah. in the month of Christmas, boys. Yep. Yeah. I knock it all out at once. Well, that's pretty cool, JD. I like it. Take eleven months to build back up. Yeah. But. Other than yeah, that, yeah. gotta say that's the way Paula is. Our anniversary and her birthday is in the same month, so yeah, I knock that out with one. I just get it at the first, first of April, and I'm covered oh. till when? I don't know. The whole month. The whole month. Oh, you get you get to throw Mother's Day in there too, then. Yep. Yeah, all of it right there. I forgot about that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, my, time, my, I can forget about Mother's Day. That's a scary one. Yeah, that's a. Hey, but them, them mothers, man, they make the world go round. I yeah, messed I up one time. I asked her, I said, what do you want for Christmas? Nothing. So I didn't get her nothing. That's a bad tra- move. That's a trick play, ain't it? Yeah. 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 That's Whatever always they a trick say. play. Yeah. Yeah. Don't believe it. Yeah, Just don't believe it. Always, always have a candle on hand. Yeah. Brittany gets annoyed at me because my answer is always the same thing. She, uh, socks and underwear. That's what I want for Christmas from everybody. Because then I ain't got to buy them the rest of the year. It works out perfect. You get a new stash at Christmas every year. <laughs> Throw the old ones away, replenish, and let's roll. So like don't it. hang around Martin for the next week uh, or so. Because like Yeah, we're running, yeah. We running thin right now. So we're hey, running hey, thin. He's running high. At the end of the year, you don't want to hang with him, boys. Yeah, buddy. We own them holy ones now. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, uh, but it is. It's just, you're so boring. That and like a seven-pound bag of peanut M&Ms. Those are 
Cashews. Cashews. Cashews work, but you. No. You know. Christmas tree cake. Or pecans. I'm like you. Crack pecan. Man. Yep. They all. Cashews. M&M, M&M peanuts, boys. M- oh. Ooh, that's what Paula likes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The big ones. Oh, yeah. The big ones. That big old. Yeah, that not, big old Mondo bag. Yeah, not the small ones. Yes. Yeah. The big ones. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Hmm. We, we getting somewhere now. Right. And you wonder how we get to the size we are. Yeah. Next okay. week, Starburst and Skittles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Okay. Next week's sponsors are Starbucks and Skitters. Well, Skitters. Skitters. <laughs> Skitters. Yep. Oh, oh, flare some land. Oh, oh, that geez. is unbelievable. I was at the store yesterday, and you know what's incredible? They already have Valentine's candy out. Ooh. Like oh, chocolate. Like we're still a week from Christmas. No, we skip holidays now yeah I, my christmas tree was up before thanksgiving <laughs> yeah I, I i drew a hard line in the sand on that one Brittany said we need to get the christmas stuff out like first of november i said i'll get it out thanksgiving afternoon that's when i'll get it out of the attic that's the only time you bring it out boys thanksgiving yep. is gone well yep. if you yeah then you forget about thanksgiving yep. if you get it up yep. before then yep so um, you know this year my wife said nope 2020 christmas tree is going up and i was like I don't think I'm going to argue. Well, maybe y'all should leave November it up. 1st, Christmas leave, tree. Leave it up and decorate it with the seasons now. Just If that's, if that's, that's where we're at, well, just leave it up year-round. Put hearts on it yeah. right before February. Just a Mardi Gras tree. And then put mm. eggs in it, Easter eggs, and then, you know, there put you go. something for summer. I don't right. know, a lawn chair, a this beach chair. This is all, all, all around tree. Yeah. Little I mean, if we if we to my house and decorate it with, you know, hundos. <laughs> Okay. Them long wheelbase tins. Yeah, yeah. 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 uh, si, what what'd you put on your Christmas list? Uh, on what, my list? Yeah, what you, what did you what do you want for Christmas? Zero. What? Well, well, how are we supposed to see that's a trap. We ain't gonna buy no, you. No, ain't no trap. Well, gonna you, get hey, mad. Hey, ain't gonna talk to you after Christmas. Hey, hey, no, I I don't care. I don't need nothing, fellas. Hey, get that. I'm trying tree to give away you a Christmas me. tree cake. It ain't got hondos on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hey. Si wants hondos for Christmas. Anybody right. interested in giving him a Christmas present, he'll take hondos. That's Just right. attention, hondos. John David Owen, send it to the warehouse, and I will get it to him. Yeah, we'll make sure we get all of it to him. <laughs> I don't know if I can trust you, J.D., okay. if a tree come in with hondos on it. If it came in with hondos on it, it'd leave with at least one hondo on it. Yeah, there's a finder. They leave me one, boys. There's a tax. This is America. Okay. Taxes uh, are real. Tax, so. tax. Okay, boys. All right. Well, let's roll into our next break, and then we'll. I think we'll come back and have some fun. That's, that's the that sounds like a winner. Sir. Si, yeah. What kind of protection you keep around your house? That would be Browning, Heritage Pistols, uh, Remington 22s. You know, you just pick it. Benelli shotguns. Hey, Benelli shotguns. Okay. Um, so. Whatever I throw lead your way. I got you. Well, that that's good for protecting you and the house. But what about what about the title to your house? Oh, I hadn't won any titles yet. So. You had not what? No, won any titles. You ain't won no title. No, I'm talking about the title to your house. It oh, says you own it. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about, you know, like championship riding titles or, you know, boxing titles. No. No, man, no. I'm talking about the actual <laughs> oh, title to your house. Title? Yeah. Well, I got it in a safe. For well. For out loud, but I mean, you know. You've got it in a safe, but the rest of the free world's got it out there on the internet. So you need to sign up for HomeTitleLock.com. They will protect your home title. Keep people from taking out loans against what you've worked your whole life for. Wait a minute. And then hitting you with a late notice. People can take out loans on the title on my house? They sure can if they file a quit claim deed and, and forge your signature on it. And your signature's everywhere. So you're a perfect candidate for this. So all you got to do is go to HomeTitleLock.com, register your address, and you can see if somebody's tried to do this. And when you get there, use code RADIO for 30 free days of protection. That's code RADIO at HomeTitleLock.com. That's against the law. Duh. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to do it for you? <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'll, right now, yeah. I'm going to do it for some. Uh, uh, HomeTitleLock.com. Uh, that's code RADIO. Hold, 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 let's see here. In the spirit of Christmas, I just, I need to know how many more cakes are in this box no i know there's five in there <laughs> no there's no. not well, he knows how many's in there let buddy. me rephrase that there were five uh, there, there were five i don't know where we're at now so, but you don't know where we're at now i just i'm really legitimately curious to know size favorite christmas movie that's oh 
that's a that's a heated subject. Yeah, I know. Well, I, no, no. I'm trying to think. The star is Jimmy Stewart. Jimmy Stewart. We're gonna need Shane? Google on this huh? one. Shane? No. Is this like? He's an American actor. Oh, it's. Is it the Wonderful Life? The Wonderful. It's life. a Wonderful Life. That's it. Yeah. It's a Wonderful Life. That's, That's wonderful your favorite life. Christmas movie. Yeah. Have you seen I, Elf? I really pegged I mean, you what? as an Elf man. I really <laughs> did. Yeah. yeah. No. You haven't who, seen Elf? No. Who who stars in it? Is Will, that uh, Will Ferrell? Okay. No. Oh, what? So Elf is a classic. No, it's, right. it's, well, good hey, stuff. it's a classic. It ain't not for me. It don't do nothing for me. Oh, you need to watch it. Yeah. So no, I had a. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen. As oh, yeah, of late, Sai's so had a bad experience with movies anyway. So, so uh, what's the last movie you went and saw at the theater? Oh, that would be uh, what's what is that stupid? The teddy bear. <laughs> okay, look. I I went to this stupid movie and thinking it was rated PG. Okay, and I I should have rated that baby like triple X. Okay, I was to say I was disappointed. Yeah, yeah. So, so you a went- teddy bear, a teddy bear doing drugs, <laughs> you know. Uh, all this other junk? Yeah, no. So you went and saw Ted at the theater. Oh, no, yeah, I was shocked, okay, because I had, I'm serious. You know, Jason and him said, that never been rated PG. I said, Jay, somewhere they put it on and it was rated PG. I said, that would have been the only reason I would have went to that stupid movie. Now, I started to get up and walk out, but I already paid my money, so I didn't say, well, <laughs> you know, I'm going to watch this stupid thing. I said, it's got to get better. No, it got worse. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So you didn't go see Ted, too? <laughs> no, no. They didn't go that they didn't. No, no, hey, uh, they give me once, shame on, on me. Give me twice, shame on me. Okay, so no, I ain't going to pull that stunt again. Good grief. Uh, I, I never saw it, but it is, in fact, rated R. Oh, oh no, yeah. it's a raunchy movie. Oh, yeah. Okay. I remember Just, when he come in and told oh, us that. Yeah. He was just all beside oh, himself. Yeah. Oh, no, I was it, like, it really made me mad. I said, I can't believe, you know, because there was a bunch of kids in the, in the theater. So yeah. if, if it's Christmas Eve and you're looking for something to watch. Do family. not go watch Ted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It is not a family show. It's not a family show. <laughs> Please. Regardless of how they rated it, don't go see it, okay, because oh. it's underrated. Oh, man. Oh, well, what good. do you think about wow. National Lampoon, the Christmas vacation? So ah. you, you like Christmas vacation, don't you? Uh, Chevy yeah, Chase? It, was, it was funny. It was yeah. funny. Yeah. The Jelly of the Month Club. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. That's real nice, Clark. Yeah, I like the one that got in the bees in, into the desert, and they got in the car, and the bee was trapped in there. Oh, he's talking about... Uh, is that Vegas vacation or whatever, one of, or just vacation? All I know is the, something yeah. about a vacation. Yeah, my Christmas vacation ain't in I, the day. I can relate to that because I've had a lot of B episodes. Okay, with while me, driving, man. huh? You've had a no, lot of- anywhere. Yeah, driving, operating a backhoe. And you just got tore oh, up by oh no yeah them, 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 them old ground, ground bees. bees. I was digging, doing some work with a backhoe. Wrong move, son. Yeah. One scoop, uh oh, one scoop, and here they come. <laughs> Y'all look, when I found it, the nest was about that big around. They dope popped oh, it. Oh, yeah, too, did they? they oh, no, it was one of these double dope option deals. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple <laughs> options, boys. Yeah. It was rough. Uh, and hey, the backhoe was still running. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I like, bailed out. Like when Phil conned us into going and getting that stupid beehive at night. Mm. <laughs> That's dumb. That's yeah, so hanging, dumb. Hanging up in a tree. Usually they're made and in, put in inside. You know, bees build yeah. them inside a tree in a hole. No, this was just hanging on a limb. Yep. Outside. And, and there we went. You know, and here we went. <laughs> okay, let's rob the bees here. Yeah. Okay. Pow, pow. Oh. Yeah. But hey, I knew this. I've been on this rodeo before. So this kid hung back, you know. And I watched the fun. Yeah. Willie got dope pop. Jay's got dope pop. Me I got dope pop. Martin got dope pop. Me and Phil back there in the back. Yeah. Out of range, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he was right. They do not, they don't fly at night, but they still yeah. possess the ability to sting at night. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. yeah one of them, one on of, you. Yeah, yeah. They told me when I was hauling hay as a youngster, he said, hey, you know, if you hold your breath, they can't sting you. You fell for that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a lie. Yeah. I'm, That's a lie. Okay. Because they said, well, it made sense what they said. If you hold your breath, your pores close. close. 
Okay, so it made sense until they pow, ow, oh, go, whoop. <laughs> they open up then, yeah. don't they? Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> There's an air leak then. <laughs> yeah. We got a leak, boys. Oh, my grandpa. They done punched a hole in this little thing. My grandpa used to tell me what every day of the week it was that they didn't sting on that day. I bought that one for a little while till I got stung on all seven days of the all week. All seven yeah. days, you're like, Grandpa, you're a liar. Yeah, it's day ends and why they don't yeah. sting. Yeah. Uh, oh, every time we'd be cleaning hedges or deer stands or something, he'd be like, "Oh, it's all right. They don't they don't sting on Friday." Yeah, they do. They they, they in fact sting on a Friday. The too. coolest thing that me and my father did when I was a kid. We're sitting on the porch in the summertime whenever whenever the bees swarm. Mm-hmm. We're sitting on the porch, and here comes just a black ball. You know, and this lady had a, their purple and their vines. Oh, yeah, like wisteria? Yeah, beautiful yeah. things. And she had a whole veranda over her house back porch, okay, with them things. Here they come. They made about two or three circles and then lit. And I'm telling you. That, that was a ball of them that big around on this vine. And Dad grabbed the hammer, went to the shed behind the deal, and there was a pine knot there, and he just knocked that pine knot out. He said, I'll, I'll uh, fix it up when I get get ready, you know. So he said, come with me, you know. And we walking toward them bees, and I, I said, what are we doing? He said, I'm going to cut the limb, that vine, and you hold it, hold it. While I cut the other one. And then we're going to walk around. They set two chairs right in front of that pine knot. And he said, we're going to walk around there, and then we're going to have a beehive, our own private beehive. You know, and when he's done it, he's walked up there and started whittling, you know, cutting, cutting that vine. I'll hang it back. He said, get up here, boy. And I said, Daddy, uh, them are bees. They, they sting. <laughs> he said, boy, get up here. You know, so I get up there, and I'm literally shaking. He said, quit shaking. You're going you're gonna to get a stung. You know, so I said, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's easy, easier said than done there, Dad. But anyway, we, he cut the other end off, and we gently wa- walk about 50 yards with these stupid ball of bees. And they you know, get grief. We finally set him down. He sits down and sits there for about 15 minutes, and that queen bee finally rolls up on top. And he just flicks that queen bee in that knot hole, and they jump up, and here they go. And from then on, years and years and years afterwards, he just took a skill saw, you know, cut out a square, you know, and nailed it back up. Had two nails, just pulled the nails, grab it, ease it off. Phil robbed it one year, okay, and he had him a bee suit on. He had about eight football jerseys on, (laughs) you know, had four or five pants on, okay, and uh, he, he made him a hat out of screen wire, okay, and he was out there saying, hey, I got it made, man, no follow So, look, he took the two nails out, grabbed that piece of board, which was about a, what, about three by three, I guess, three foot by three foot. And he just turned around. He didn't know it. The back of it was covered with with a honeycomb and bees. Uh He just threw it down. And when he did, you could not even see his his shirt, jersey, or pants. (laughs) And he was just running. Ah! They ate him up. <laughs> you know, and we're all in the house just dying laughing, you know. <laughs> there is something funny about the run. Oh, oh, no, it's always funny when it happens to the other person. Oh, right. there's something funny yeah. about a man getting stung. Oh, right? no, because look, we're Ooh. squirrel hunting one day. And Phil goes, crosses the fence, and it's, it's got a rotten uh, fence post on it. Well, he shakes it up, and guess what's in this fence post? Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Got to be. Yep. Okay, look, so he goes through, and he's walking ahead of me. I go through, and when I bend over, I hear rip. Uh-oh, I done ripped my pants. Well, guess what's hanging out? White underwear. <laughs> A so, beacon. <laughs> oh, no, no, look. So I'm running, and I trip, and I had read somewhere on, or seen it on TV, you know, they'll fly over you if, <laughs> if you trip. Oh, No. <laughs> Hey, this was like the bombing days of Germany, you know. Talking about, there's the target. I'm leading you in, boys. 27 times. <laughs> hey, hey. I look like a woman for about two months. Okay, I had a big rear end, boys. <laughs> you know, my, my mother was back there with tweezers, and every time she'd pull a string out, she'd be cackling like a hen laying an egg. Ha! 
I said, it ain't that funny, Mama. She said, oh, yes, it is. If you could see your rear end, you would know why I'm laughing. Oh, you had to sleep on your stomach oh, for no, a while, look, didn't you? <laughs> look, and then one time, as kids, we used to know we'd go out by the uh, barn, you know, or the chicken coop, and bees always bore a hole. Bumblebees bore a hole in the wood, you know, make a nest, all that. So we'd go out there with a with a uh, little, we call it just a, it was a bumblebee bat. You know, you just cut your little board, you know, We'd go out there and whack them. Oh, them carpenter bees. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so look, don't ever hit one if you don't put it on him right. Because <laughs> by the time you popped him and he hit the ground, the next thing was bzzz, one stuck me right on the end of the nose. Okay, for a week and a half, I had to walk sideways because I was Jimmy Durandy's brother. My nose was this big around and <laughs> Yeah. Who is Jimmy Drew? Oh. <laughs> oh, but hey, goodness. it was rough, boys. I got you thought we got laughed at at school. Good girl. Well, you had to walk sideways so you could see. Oh no, he hey. Huh? <laughs> so here it comes, y'all. All you can see is nose. <laughs> Coming down the hall, boys. Oh man. Well, that's good stuff. Oh. I don't know how we switched from Christmas to bee stories. I know, well, but, hey, I'm, but glad. I'm glad right. we did. Oh, right. I love them. I'm people. telling you. Yeah. <laughs> Man, there's there is something. I, the worst one I ever had was when I was in college, doing my wood duck boxes. Yeah, and bees like we've talked uh, about are cavity nesters. Uh, yeah, and I done got in a trance, wasn't even paying attention. I was just messing with my wood duck boxes, and I went up there and I peeled that door off that thing. And buddy, hello. Before I knew what happened, yeah, yeah. Hello. I was eight smooth up. Yeah. And I just running as fast as I can run and then jumped in a ditch full of water. I got wet. I still got stung, yeah. but I got wet. And, oh, but, that reminds me. But, buddy, me. They, I, I still ain't went and put that door back on that wood yeah, duck box. Still, I said, y'all uh, can have it. Yeah, still I don't there. need it. Did I tell y'all about my main uncle? Uh-uh. My mother's brother, F.M. Hale. All right. Well, hold on. Let's take a break, and you get on that mean uncle when uh, we get well, back. Right. How about that? Yeah. Everybody got a mean uncle around Christmas. That right, boys. Oh, hey. No, it was all year with this cat. You know what I want for Christmas? Xbox. Talking babies. Your two front night. teeth. No, I just want to save a ton of money. You know how you can do that? Don't buy anybody a gift. But you can do that. <laughs> or no. you can go to scoremaster.com. And it'll teach you how to save money on your credit and how to build your credit. The average person increases their score 61 points once they log in for scoremaster.com. Do you know oh, that? Hey, i give you a good uh, deal on this. What? Hey, all you got to do to get good credit is go out and buy a lot on credit. You know, tell them I'll pay for it monthly. You going to pay for it? No, no, that's what I'm saying. Hey, you got to have a, you got to owe people money to have credit. Well, yeah. If you don't owe anybody, no credit. You ain't good. Ain't, like me, I ain't got no credit. Because you don't owe nobody. I don't owe no. Uh-uh. So for better advice. It's cash only. <laughs> visit so. scoremaster.com. Right, and so for better advice is use this thing he's talking if about. If you're not boys. 72 and haven't made a million dollars in the past five years, well, look, hey. you're probably going to need some credit. So you're going right. to need to check out what's going on over at scoremaster.com. They oh, can man. teach you how to raise your credit at an average of 61 points. And that'll save you hundreds of thousands of dollars over the rest of your life. Um, All you have to do is go to scoremaster.com slash duck. That's scoremaster.com slash duck. Here. He's not mean at all. No, our uncle here is fantastic. (laughs) One time he he ain't got a mean bone in his body, boys. One time he dressed up as a Christmas elf. I'm just excited because America's favorite uncle. He's about to tell us stories about his mean uncle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, let's hear about Uncle F.M. Hey, look, he had one of them 1965 is an old army jeep. They had a name for it. Like Willis? Willis, yeah. Yeah, Willis. Mm-hmm. Okay, he had a Willis jeep, and it, it had the hard top with windows. Okay, and then the little back end on it. Well, he had to go check his oil leases, and there was also bass ponds, and he always took his rod and wheel reel with him. So we would ask, hey, can we go with you? Yeah, you go with Get in the back. You know, so these are dirt roads. You know, he's going, checking the laces, you know, make sure, you know, all right. Well, he come around, come around where the road forks. It wise. Well, right in the middle of that fork is the big old bush, and on that bush is a purple tail wasp nest about, oh, about that big around, and hey, oh. it is solid purple. Oh. Mm. 
Okay, so it's probably got 500 to 1,000 purple tails on it, oh. okay? So he comes around, he hangs a hard right, stops, puts it in reverse, backs up in the bush, shuts the engine off, and he's sitting up front laughing <laughs> while we are just getting tore up. Because, hey, he done backed us in the bush. You know, so we're trying to get out of the bush, and the purple tails are having a party, boys. <laughs> You know, oh, you talking about it ate us up. So oh, your yeah. uncle just puts you in a nest of wasps? Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's why you're the way you are today. Oh, no, 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 no. The whole family, the Hales and the Hobbses, yeah, they are mean, but they got a mean cruel <laughs> streak to them. I'm saying that's why you're such a wonderful uncle. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, but, hey, look, with this kind of kin folks, there's never a dull moment when they live next door to you. Okay, so there's a, hey, there's always something going on. I would imagine so. Man, I've been there. I've, no. He was just wanting you to tear up that nest. He was going to go back no, he and didn't. get that. No, he got what he wanted. He was going to get that <laughs> he wanted, larvae so hey, he could go three fishing. Ring, no, it was a three-ring circus, and, uh, and we're the ones in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, I've done it before fishing. Them old purple tails be on them cypress trees, and oh, you no. ain't paying no attention. <laughs> bump, oh, in, yeah. bump into it when you're crappie fishing. Oh, <clears throat> man. We'll just dough pop you. Yeah. I did it this year. I didn't get I, – me and, me and Hunter missed a fine chance at getting dough popped this year fishing. We ran smooth into a stump, slam full of them. Good and I was down man. there taking off a, a bass. And I saw him. I heard him. I heard him. I said, uh-oh. I told Hunter, I said, go straight, go fast. Go straight, go fast. I, he jumped up there on the trolling motor, put that thing on 10, and we got out of there, son. I mean, I'm trying to remember where it was at. It was out there somewhere we filmed. Same place you chased me with rattlesnake out there on that lake. Oh, yeah. And we went out there, and it was a big old, big old rotten tree. And look, the hole, it was just honey leaking, uh, dripping out of the hole. Hmm. You know, and everybody was saying, somebody kept saying, let's go down there by that old rotten tree. You know, and I, and I said, no. And everybody said, what are you talking about, man? Let's go down there. We ain't tried by that rotten tree. We may catch something. He said, I've seen a swirl down there. I said, we ain't going down there by that rotten tree. I said, you're not looking up far enough. I said, that thing's full of honeybees. Uh-huh. And they said, they will eat you up. Yeah, you know. I remember that. Yeah. I don't, yeah, yeah, well, that was up, where were we at? Up at that place in Oak Grove? It was somewhere was up there. Yeah, yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that because yeah. we we went up there and looked and said, no, uh -uh. Yeah. this, said, this well, ain't it, boys. Yeah, we wanted to climb up there and get it. Man, we want to yeah. get some of the honey, but no, nah, I don't yeah. think so. No, this ain't no, it. No, this is going to be one of them, yeah, you fix to get wet yeah. and stung. <laughs> yeah, this is a two dough pop in here. I ain't. Wet and stung. I ain't nah, going. Because, nah. hey, we wanted the honey, but no, nah, it wasn't worth it. That it much. wasn't worth that much, yeah. was it? Yeah. Oh, no. Lord have mercy. And that was a big, big honey. Bunch of bees, mm -hmm. you know, because it was out of literally running like volcanic, you know, yeah. you know out, of, out of that tree, dripping down the side. It Pranks was, and games, that's that's back to what what do you, what do y'all do Christmas Eve when y'all get together? Y'all get together as a oh, family. Uh, y'all do stuff mainly feed our face when we get together now. Cook. Yeah, I remember the first my first Robertson Christmas when I first started working around here. They was like, "You come for Christmas Eve?" I was like, "Well." Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll come stop by. Because y'all do it like middle of the afternoon anyway, like 3 yeah. o'clock. Yep. And I remember when I showed up, it was my first time to experience a seafood Christmas. I had never <laughs> I had never been yeah. a part of oh, a seafood Christmas. It was uh, it was incredible. Yeah, break but out the food, It was boys. good. That's, that's, oh, yeah. was it good? That yeah. little, that, that all gratin stuff Phil makes Ooh. it, well, you can hurt yourself on oh, that yeah. one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, both then and later, you oh, can yeah. hurt yourself yeah. both. Yeah, it hurts you twice. Yeah, both ways. It's uh, it's it's a tad on the rich side. Let's just put it that way. It's uh, <laughs> twelve hour later pain. No, no, not twelve. About three and a half, four. It don't take long for that heavy cream to do what heavy cream does. Yeah. It, it it just yeah. Christmas as a kid though was was fantastic. Like we would get one major gift, like me and Phil. He got a pellet gun. I got a baby, uh, old Daisy baby gun. Okay, but the, the other say, part. You got the pellets. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. That's about the truth, though. You know, that's why we was with Daddy's shotgun. You know, we're supposed to say, you shoot one, I shoot one. Now, I would say, is that a score? Boom. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I'd say, is that boom? You know, so I went with him one day and I said, nah, I ain't one. 
I said, hand me the gun. You know, he handed it to me. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> you got your one. Yeah, I finally, I forgot. Him. No, don't say is that. Boom. No, no. I ain't no way. But the whole thing about Christmas when we were a kid was we'd get one major gift, and then the rest of it would be Mama would buy all kinds of, like, she'd order uh, California oranges that they were that big around, freshly picked off the tree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She good, and then she'd order all kinds of uh, walnuts and stuff, and we'd build a big fire in the fireplace and then sit there and eat them walnuts. Crack. We Look, we just had a place that we had not cracked so many that we just had a, a, a holder. Set the and crack it. Yeah. <laughs> Set it, crack it. And then, and then eat, you know, eat, eat the walnuts. Eat your belly full of walnuts. Oh, yeah. 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 That, and then we'd throw uh, potatoes. Go get five or six small potatoes, throw it in the fireplace, let them cook it. And then, hey, roll them out and, hey, eat them. Interesting. Yeah. I ain't never on. had a tater dog. Oh, yeah. No, no. It's yeah. got the hide yeah. on it. It ain't going to oh, get yeah. dirty. Yeah. That's no. interesting. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I want to do yeah. that. Yeah, the whole family, you know, the whole, we done it as a family. I'm yeah. going home, build a fire. That's right. Both build a fire, boys. Uh, Godwin, what do y'all do on Christmas? We have the Godwin Reindeer Games. The Godwin Reindeer Reign. Games. Game. Oh, yeah. Paula gets some stuff, a bunch of games you got to do. You'll have, uh, let's say, one time we had a bunch of balloons, and you put them in stockings, and you had to put it on people, and they had to hold a spoon with an egg in it. And because in balloons, you can't hardly walk. You got them on your legs, too, and you got to race to the front. Then one game we played... We had to uh, get, she had a list. We'd about divide up in teams, and you'd have to get stuff, like a dime, a fork. She had one time, she had a branch, and we was winning on my team. Everybody hit the door, headed outside. I just went over to the Christmas tree and <laughs> broke that limb off. I was like, <laughs> I said, hey, we win. Yeah. You said a branch. You didn't say where it had to go. You didn't say where it was. Hey, get that Christmas tree. Right, right, right. Uh, but it's pretty fun. We got a trophy. We pass it around every year. Pretty neat. All kind of stuff. That's a good time, man. Yeah. Paula and Johanna, when she was li- still living with us, baby, they'd, her and Paula would make Jesus a, ba- a birthday cake. I can appreciate that. Uh, hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's all right there. I just played Secret Santa up in Oklahoma. You ever played Secret Santa? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah and I want Miss Christine that nice uh, pullover. Yeah, we always that I was talking about it with soft as mashed potatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Oh, so you won her gift? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. all right mm-hmm. there. Yeah. I can I can yeah. appreciate that. That's all yeah. right. Uh we always do one of them. You know, kind of. The oddball gifts, what are they called? Dirty Santa, joke, Tacky yeah, Santa, joke, whatever. Joke, oh, yeah. Joke, yeah. Joke, I'll joke. tell y'all what I got this year. It's a calendar, and all the pictures of it are dogs taking a poop. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fantastic because every time I see a dog relieving himself yeah. like that, I stop and get <laughs> I get oh. tickled. Yeah, tell me, hey, I, gave, hey lie, I get tickled. Lie. Yeah, <laughs> I got a good one on that. Al does that. Okay, Kay does that. Joke gifts. Yeah. Okay. So we're, you know, they pass them out, and uh, Alan Lynch said, hey, this is special. Tell me, man, we had to look everywhere since you're so hard to, you know, shop for. You know, and I said, okay, you know, so I opened it up, and, and it's called The Bod. Okay. My, no, no, my <laughs> wife loves it. Oh, the spray? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no, look. You know, it was supposed to be a joke. I told Alan Al Lynch, I said, hey. My wife thanks y'all so much for that. And they said, what? It was a joke. And I said, no, it ain't no joke. <laughs> I said, with the deodorant I use and the the oh, bod, I said, this woman won't ever leave me alone. <laughs> He's <laughs> back, baby. <laughs> I said, so, hey, I really appreciate that little joke gift because the joke's on y'all. <laughs> <laughs> the studster. Oh, oh, I think that's Sorry about s- that, Miss Christine. I think that's going to send us to our last break. <laughs> Woo. Si, I got you something for your stocking. What? You don't know? No. Don't you ain't peaked yet? No. Oh, man. You are the proud owner of two bottles of Omega XL. Uh Uh-oh, boys. Hey, 
Here's the deal. You got 35 years of research and development working for yours truly. Guarantee. Look at you. Look, since you've been on it, you, you feel way better, don't you? Oh, what are you talking about? Now you can put together them Christmas toys. You won't be hurting if you paint your finger. That's Inflammation right. will right. be gone. That's it. And Immediately. Goblin, if you ever decide to get back on riding them bulls, you're going to need to take that pre and post bull, I got a feeling. Yeah. So. I'm thinking about pre cracking and, back out. Are you? Uh, no. Pre and, <laughs> pre and post I bull, would. boys. Hey. Yeah, I'd, I'd, take, I'd take two on either side of it for them bulls. But Hey, now to fix them pockets, you're talking about you grinding down, sliding. Look, if you got that's somebody perfect. that's always in pain for Christmas, look, let's help let's help get you started with that. You can order Omega XL now and you'll get a second bottle for free. Visit omegaxl.com slash duck. That's omegaxl.com slash duck or call one eight hundred eight four 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 eight eight eight. That's eight hundred eight four 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 eight eight eight. Hey, and that's like magic. And you heard it here first. Bod by side. Bod, boy. Well, Johnny D, it's our favorite time of the week. This is when we get to uh, give our fans a little love back here. So um, for all of y'all that have taken the time to reach out at hello at duckcallroom.com, we do appreciate you. We uh, work our way through them. And uh, Johnny D, this is where you shine. Who we got Who we got on the uh, duck call room hot line? Is that what we want to call it this week? What did you, what'd you what find interesting? I, I wasn't ready at all, by the way. Uh, oh, no. No. Oh. Hashtag you had one job. I thought okay. we were still talking about Christmas. No. I hadn't got to talk about okay. Jingle all the way yet, but What's we'll that? save that Jingle for next week. Throw it in here. It's just a great movie. Oh, okay. Jingle all the way. Jingle Watch it. Uh, no, I, put your eye out. Different movie. Yeah. Also great movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But, uh, no, I, I do want this as a Christmas gift to myself. Someone, and I don't have the name because Martin caught me off guard, uh, wanted to hear more about uh, Godwin. Yep, there it is. Diane Singleton. Uh, Godwin is her favorite from the podcast because he was a bull rider. Hey. And I did not know that until I read the words. He was a bull rider. You didn't know I was I did not know you were a bull rider, and she wanted to hear more about your bull riding days. Give us your best bull riding right. story, Godwin. Best bull riding, golly. So many of them. And I they're, mean, all, they're only mean, eight seconds apiece. I was <laughs> just going to say, give us your best bull. Best bull <laughs> was 15. I was, I was, that was his number. I was wanting him, and I drawed him in the alley at a uh, – the Coliseum, and I remember calling for him, got a good seat on him, called for him, and then uh, I remember seeing my buddy there holding my boots and spurs in his hand. He said, if you die, can I have your boots and spurs? <laughs> oh. oh, He so. jerked me down, knocked me out. So 15-1, that exchange. 15-1, nothing. Okay. Yep. That's I'm, what I when I figured it said somebody was holding your boots and spurs. I was saying, and then he woke up in the hospital. No, said, I happened? didn't. I I didn't wake. <laughs> I never went to the hospital. Should you have? Maybe. <laughs> I got stepped on a couple of times. I couldn't hardly breathe one time. And uh, man, was Look. you the whole package? Cowboy boots and hat and all. Belt buckle, big belt buckle. Yeah, didn't have a belt buckle. Oh, didn't have a belt buckle, boy. Didn't I, win one. I never have won some local stuff, but nothing big. But I liked it. One of my buddies got hurt. He got stepped on, and my, <laughs> I'll never forget this. Boy, they he couldn't. He punctured the lung, Ooh, broke a feet. bunch of ribs. Well, it in his lungs collapsed, mm. and uh, mm. his folks. I finally got a hold to them. They got down there. And uh, I told his I told his mama I said he looks bad. He's hooked up on a bunch of stuff. I said, but he's fine. He's stable. He's good. And she walked in there. And she said, Oh, I hope you've learned something over this. He said, Yes, ma'am. I got to get over that front end a little more. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, Tom, Tom, I do better than leaning back. This ain't no recliner. <laughs> yeah, <that's bad. laughs> And Miss Paula, she used to ride, chase them cans, you know, but okay. they got to do something while they load bulls, you know. <laughs> Barrel racing. Barrel yeah. racing. 
Oh, Lord. Well, you're a bull rider, and Miss Paula is, is a barrel shit. Yep. I, I never do it. See, hey, you don't. You think you know people? You don't know. No, you mm-hmm. don't know. Well, I'll have to tell her. I said, I, I just, I'm shocked that you're. A bull what you rider. don't know by Goblin, because everybody's experience with him is, you know, the nice, laid back, all that. The boy's an adrenaline junkie. <laughs> Ain't you? Motocross uh, racer, hey, he's race the, motocross. Hey, he's an adventurous. Yeah, okay. yeah. bull he's rider, adventurous boy. And roller then, coasters, oh, yeah. I love roller coasters. Hey, and if yeah. you get in a boat with him, he has got to find that little flat piece of metal behind that hot foot oh, that yeah. stops it. I mean, it is just yeah. pedal. You screw that down to yeah. the floorboard. Pedal to the metal, so when you get in with him, it's like, <laughs> oh, That's God, was that you? I give up. Somebody's fine. All right, somebody's buzzing. Goblin. Well, he didn't call me twice. Hey. Well, hey. <laughs> Look, he didn't hey. answer the first that's time. Right. Hey, <laughs> that's my dear. That's Miss Paula's dear mate, Trudy. Oh, okay. Oh, All right. Right. We'll be there shortly. What else you got, Sean? Uh, we, uh, Sean. <laughs> my name is John <laughs> David. Um, what, else, what else you got, Jingles? Uh, jingles. Uh, well, you got the hat on. Hey, that's I right. love Christmas, and we do have – we. somebody sent in a couple Christmas questions. All Wendy right. Tidwell out of Jasper, Alabama. Fake tree or real tree? Go. I'm a fake guy. You, it says real tree on your hat. Yeah. Just pointing that out. I know. <laughs> well, a real one, wow. in theory, is better than a fake one. Until, yeah. Unless you're talking about a Christmas tree. So. Godwin? We always, the day after Thanksgiving, no, the first Sunday after Thanksgiving, after church, we go cut a Christmas tree and put it up. That's I can big, appreciate that. I'm a guy with real tree. Because yeah. the family, that was one of the things that a family used to do. Yeah. Is we'd go out and either find a cedar tree, and then if we couldn't find a cedar tree, you'd have to use a pine tree. Yeah. Which, the pine tree's a bummer. Yeah. Cedar trees. <laughs> cedar trees always better because it leaves the, the aroma in the house. Yeah. yeah. Aroma. Yeah, we go with fake tree and a cedar candle. <laughs> hey, there you go. Well, he's got the he's got the spirit of it anyway. Yeah. Okay. Hey, we got some. He brought smells. in the fake yeah. candle. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I head up to my attic every year and uh, bring a box down with a tree in it. Yeah. We used to do the real tree, but then when you get rid of them, you go set them on fire, and it makes me so no. nervous. No, no, no. Don't tell me you don't set them on fire. You take them to the lake and sink them, and then you got a crappie hole. <laughs> Tell Idiot. him, Si. Yeah. Tell him. Big dummy. I'm yeah. going to be so. I, I don't need my own Oh, crappie. you ain't going to be sore. Your dad sells fishing stuff. Hey, look. I, I get, exactly. Hey. I don't need a hole. I just go with other people. There we go. I'm getting them signed. I'll give, give you a size, a size JD. Boy, you didn't know that, did For you, all about you me? driving to right. your family Christmas, Si <laughs> is punching me and massaging right. me all at right. once. No, I don't I don't need to sink a tree. It, plus, setting on fire is kind of fun, but it made me nervous with that in my house. Oh, you a Pyromaniac. What is that? Pyro, 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 um, pyro maniac, boys. But yeah, I don't need my own hole. I'm just going hey, with one of y'all to go yeah, fishing. Yeah, yeah. That's how I roll. Yeah. Okay. And then the, her other Christmas question was uh, colored lights or white lights? You're a oh. colored light guy. Oh, right? yeah. Oh. Hey, how'd you know I was a colored light? Uh, no one want to see one. <laughs> hey, you know, he knows his lights, people, boys. Yeah. My wife is all about them white lights. Mm-hmm. She's a. She's, I think that's a modern thing. Did huh? you it, put lights up on your house? Uh-uh, not this your, year. I did last year. Why not this year? We, ran out, of, we ran out of time. My wife is in graduate school, and oh, she's the I head know. of the decorating department. Oh, okay. I'm just head of installation. So, yeah. so she don't like, like colored lights? No, she likes the white ones. <clears throat> just that's the, weird. Yeah. That, you know, that strikes me as weird. Yeah. Okay. She has a very colorful <laughs> personality. Oh, no. I, but, well, I, I've met her, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, your woman is very colorful, okay? Trust me. Ah, uh, but she likes white lights. I don't, it's it's bizarre. The guy one? I don't have a preference. I'll go with either one. Hey, yep. no, the reason that's weird to me, she's from Nashville, for crying out loud. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and yet she just likes the, you know. The white light. The white light, boys. Yeah. I'm a white light guy. Yeah. I put up lights every, that's my thing. Like some people's things are yard, my things, my Christmas lights. I'm way better at installation than I am decoration. I put them up so. one year and I said, <laughs> right. a little steep for me. <laughs> oh, I don't yeah. get on top of my roof. My roof is steep. I, yeah. I did one, yeah. the first year, I was like, I'm going to put wreaths up on those windows. And I almost fell off the roof. And I was like, yeah, nah. Tell yeah, it. the return well, on that investment well, is minimal. Decorate the porch. <laughs> <laughs> I ground the pockets off my pants. 
You did what? Sliding down. Oh, ground the pockets off your pants. Ain't lying. <laughs> did you fall off? No. Well, that's good. But I almost did. I thought I was. <laughs> I made it about two steps and said, mm, nah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I tried that one time, and I got a whole new respect for roofers. I said, oh, you boys oh, yeah. stay up there. I, I don't, I don't yeah, get no, it. Yeah, no, I didn't. I've done that job before. Yeah. No. It ain't there. Well, yeah, Si, yeah. what you got for us? Close us out. Let's right, hear what well, you got. Look, look. All right. I got hung up in Proverbs 10, boys. I love it. Proverbs yeah. 10. <clears throat> All right, boy, let me see what I got here. Let's see. If, it is so many that it's hard to give you just one. All right, let's see. The, ra- the wages of the righteous bring them life but the income of the wicked brings them punishment hey let's do that again move your move your mic a little closer to your mouth you sounded right, kind of weird you didn't get it right yeah the wages of the righteous bring them life but the income of the wicked brings them punishment huh here's another one I like let's see it boys which one i'm looking for the looking yeah okay Wisdom is found on the lips of the discerning, but a rod is for the back of him who lacks judgment. I got you. And with that, we're out. That's all we got for you, boys. Merry Merry Christmas, everybody. That's right, and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas.